and I am live. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. You normally see me on a Tuesday, but today is Wednesday because sometimes in the tech world, things happen, but we go with the flow as usual. So here I am today, and I am super excited about today because, as you know, well, let me introduce myself because recently I've gotten a lot of followers. So thank you for taking the chance to look at your own life and make a decision that you want to do something different, which is why you're on my page. So welcome. I applaud you for being here and it's an honor to be here with you. My name is Kamitra Rampasad. I am originally from Trinidad and Tobago. I now live in Calgary, Canada. I've been here for uh, this month is actually six years. So I do these digital journeys because I am a coach and a mentor who help people from around the world to start, set up and build their very own digital business, even if they have zero business experience, which is just amazing. Right. So I do these digital journeys where I bring someone on and I have a chat with them or an interview, if you want to call it. And the reason I do that is because. You guys know my story. And even if you're new, you can scroll through my page. I've been here for six years, so therefore you can scroll through my page and you can learn my story, right? But it's more than just about me, right? We all have dreams and we all have goals. And the one thing myself and all of my business partners have is this platform that if we're using the same exact platform, the same exact information to give us each our own individual dreams. So your dreams may be similar to mine, it may not. And that is why I bring people on all of the time. So therefore, you can hear from other people about this business, about how it's changing their lives, about why they decided to do this. So you can see if you relate in terms of, uh, you just need a little bit more from someone else. But today is particularly special for me because as much as I've done many interviews, I have never interviewed a fellow trainee. So today is my first. So this is very special. So without further ado, I'm going to bring her on the stage and I'm going to let her introduce herself. So hi, hi Jill. Hi. <laughs> Thank hi. you so much for taking the time to be here. <laughs> You're welcome. So let's dive in. Tell me, tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, everyone. Um, so my name is JL. I am a wife. I am a mom of four children with a busy two-year-old little toddler. <laughs> I am originally from Trinidad and Tobago, as can be trusted, but I live in Georgia, USA with my family. I am a registered nurse by profession, and I do this online business on the side for now. For now. Oh, I love that. For now. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Um, so you're a registered nurse, uh, and you have four kids. That is a very busy life, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, so why did you, I mean, I could guess, but I, obviously I'll let you say it, right? Why did you decide to start this online business and how did you actually find it or did it find you? Okay. I would say it find me. So I <laughs> always say that this online business come at the right time. I always don't like to go back to this, but I was going through a traumatic event. Um, I had just had my baby and I had a lot of complications after delivery that, um, I would have to be out of work for a couple of months. I was doing travel nursing at the time. So, you know, I wasn't permanent in work, so I can't take, you know, some time off like that. Um, if you don't come to work, you don't get paid, you're travel nursing. So, you know, I was going through so much, and I know that as a registered nurse, I know with my complications, my severe complications, I would have to be out of work for a couple of months, and that's when I started looking. So I wasn't looking on Facebook. Facebook was just my you know, go to for, you know, just scrolling on my page or whatever. I was looking on YouTube. I was looking to see, you know, how to start um, a side hustle, you know, how to start an online business, how to, you know, how to start an online business for nurses or how to get a side hustle for nurses. So I was just looking in my um, nursing field. I wasn't looking for nothing else. You know, you know, we are we already in, I'm already in this profession of nursing. So why not get something else like you know in my nursing field? So I was looking at case management, you know, um online remote work for nursing. But I on Facebook I stumbled across this ad. Now I saw many ads, right? I saw many ads, but you know it didn't resonate with me. I'm like, okay. But I stumbled upon this ad and she resonated so much with me. Um she's my now coach. Um, she was a registered nurse like me. She had complications after her delivery and she was an immigrant like me. And I was like, okay, okay, this is for me. <laughs> this is for me. I was like, okay, God, this is for me. This is for me. So, you know, I went in, I um, asked a little bit, you know, I actually talked to her on the phone. 
right? I just had to talk to her on the phone because I just want to know if you're real, you know. You know, still being skeptical, you know, you're real. And, you know, she talked to me and I watched that webinar. And that next step came so easy for me, taking that next step, you know, after I watched her webinar. And, you know, the rest is history. <laughs> so I did not I did not start this online business really thinking I needed an online business. At that point I was going through a traumatic event and that pushed me to you know start this online business. Yeah. Uh, I think it's similar with me as well. I was looking for something, but I didn't know what uh, as well. Um, because especially if you're in the corporate con uh, industry. It's not something you just automatically say, well, hey, I just want a, a business, right? And no, I, I sh yeah, I shared this before, especially if you have no business experience, which uh, I assume you didn't have any either, no. right? Yeah. <laughs> so same same thing with me, right? But when um, just before I left Trinidad, I did actually start to set up a business. Um, it was a facial business, but um, I bought all my products. I got my certifications and everything. But when it was time to launch, I realized that I was kind of stuck because I just did not know who to market to, who to target, how how right. to get this out there, right? Which means clearly, as much as I had a business plan, it was not a, a business plan, right? Yeah. So, uh, so just share with us, uh, JL, in terms of someone who doesn't have any business experience, how did this platform actually fit? Like, how does it work, right? Because now you are a legit business owner, you, as in you're recognized by the government because we have a legit business model. So how did you switch from no business experience to now being a full-fledged business owner? So I would say it was not easy because, you know, mm -hmm. I always had this mindset. I did four years of um, nursing. I did a bachelor's degree in nursing. And I'm going to work for, as a nurse for the rest of my life. You know, I'm good. My career is good. I'm set. You're set, I'm, yeah. I'm nothing else, right? But, you know, um, this online business, it's, it's, it's different, I would say. It's a different experience for me. I never knew about running an online bus a business much less an online business, right? I never had experience with it. But the thing is, the training is so comprehensive. And, you know, you're always learning. You're always learning. And for me, I'm not a, yes, I can pick up fast. But with this business, I treat it like a baby. I took my time. I don't know, really good. If I had to read over something three times, I would read it over just to make sure I get the gist. I understand it. So, you know, learning for me. And I like learning. I like reading, you know. And I took my time to actually, you know, check out this business and see, um, just lay the foundation for this business. Um, just really, you know, taking my time through the training and stuff. And, you know, and I was like, this is for the long run. This is not a, a, a get rich quick scheme or, you know, something that I'm going to start now and um, three months. This, when I watched this business and I started this business, I had the goal in mind that this is going to be a long term plan. So I have to take my time, I know, get information, take my time and really go through the training properly and lay that foundation. Yeah, but it was not easy at first because I had to change that employee mindset to a business mindset now that you are your own boss, you control the hours. If you're feeling tired, you know, you control that. But um, yeah, the, that, that, that mindset had to change and I was there. Yeah, I was so glad it changed. But I had no prior business experience before and now it's like <laughs> <laughs> i love it now you're helping other people to be business owners as well right? yes, and that's yes. the beauty about this right um and one of the things you mentioned with our training side as well um one of our mottos is teach a man how to fish right not necessarily bring the fish to them right and i love that concept right. because um it also ties into what you said you love to learn right if we are not learning no matter how old you are, you need to be learning something. Otherwise, mm -hmm. you're moving, you are, you stand still in your life, right? Because your brain needs to work. It needs to get new information. It needs to process. Otherwise, it will slowly shut down because it's not being used, right? right? So what I love about our training site in terms of that is um, it's updated on a daily basis. So therefore, we don't ever have to go outside and look for any updates, any things like that. It all comes to our doorstep, but we have to be motivated enough to be in control of our business, right? So what gives you that motivation, JL, to stay motivated? Because at the end of the day, not everyone can um, feel tired and say, you know what? I still have to do my effort in this business. This is my own commitment. So what keeps you motivated? I would say I had a one skeptical husband, <laughs> but now he is like my motivation. Like, you know, like on days that, you know, I feel down, you know, he would remind me. And then if I want something to post, 
like what to him and he you know oh, that's so nice. Uh, so he is my motivation i would also say my son because i'm just not somebody who just gives up that's just it i just don't give up that's a training like, that's not it yeah like if i start something and the thing is for me to start this business i had to do proper research because i do research i want to make sure it's legit first of all i'm not going to be on any you know false um stuff um no schemes or whatever i have to make sure it's legit and you know and i did proper research you know i asked around um my mother because she you know it's always in some kind of business looking at some business or whatever so you know get a second hand as to you know if i should start this business or not you know really do research and i said when i start this business i'm just going to continue because i already know it's legit you know it works you know the system works it's just for me to put in my part and you know i said let me just continue so my motivation is me as well right because i'm just not somebody who will just start something and say you know what i give up it's not working for me and i give up mm -mm. yeah that's not me <laughs> yeah. um so, uh, it's funny you say that because on my coaching calls one of the things that I, I i frankly say and i'm a very frank person right at the end of the day if i don't believe that you're gonna be successful in this business i'm gonna tell you that but i'm also going to tell you why so you have a choice to change it to think about it right because i'm not here to set you up to fail right, right. i'm here to set you up to succeed and one of the biggest things in this business is mindset and if you come in here with the mindset where you know what i'm just gonna try this for three months or six months right then you're wasting your time because uh, what you already invested your time and your energy to get to this point right and you already made that is for you to get to that point in the first place you made a decision that you want your life to change so why after six months you're gonna give up on that potential or and i say six months right but whatever right so therefore you have to come in with that powerful mindset just like yeah. you said jail just like you're doing right now just like i've done in the last five years that this must work it has to work yes it has to work <laughs> right because if it's working for so many people out there it has to work for me as well so you cannot come in here with a trying mindset you have to come here with a knowing i like to call it a knowing mindset where it will work and that means on the hard days i know it's still gonna work right it's just a hard day so what do i have to do to overcome it what do i have to do to make it better and ah uh, tell me jail right what was one of the biggest hurdles that you would have had to overcome in this business to make it work um i think my mind right <laughs> you know when you now start something you know you're thinking you know is it gonna work is it is, but you know your mind my mindset you know that i tell you that business mindset to employ uh, that that employee employee mindset, yeah. the business mindset was a whole different thing for me because you know as i was telling you just now from, from the caribbean you're just comfortable you know you don't know what to do when and you know it's something new and you know it's like i don't know if i can do this so i think i was blocking my my own success right yes. and that's why i think i took a little while to get my feet you know i was already in the business but it took me a little while because i always thinking about what if what if you know i don't know if it's for me i don't know whatever and as soon as i believed in myself and as soon as i you know push away those fears you know you know what you already start something you know it's legit you can get a you get an attack form you know when um when um the beginning of the year everything is legit like why you why you have this negativity in your mind like you know just go for it just do it just do it because you're seeing so much results in the community you're seeing people yeah. you know what they're doing you know mortgage free who um job quitters you're seeing all these things like why can't you do it you could do it get it done yeah, <laughs> yeah. i well, it's uh i have a similar thing at the end of the mindset was my biggest uh limitation which yeah. means uh, i was in my own way just like you right and one um you know it takes time and effort. I probably took more time and effort working on my mindset than working on my business. But the day you actually switch that mindset, it's with you for life. So yeah. it's worth the time and the effort, right? I'm yeah. sure you could agree with that, yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, so were you skeptical at all when you saw this? As in, we are from the Caribbean, and I, I feel like Caribbean people are a little more skeptical about the online space. Were you? No, I was so skeptical. <laughs> <laughs> After watching the webinar, I said this, let me check it out. So that that next part that um that um taking that next step, becoming an action taker was easy for me. 
right? Okay, right. But, you know, going through the business and I was like, oh my God, this is something totally different. I never um, heard about this business model before. Everything is just new. I was so skeptical, right? Um, but, you know, what helped me overcome that skepticism is that, you know, what, what would I do? Like, you know, um, I'm seeing how it's working for other people. And I believe that the business will work. But, you know, just not believing in myself that I can do something like this, you know. But um, I overcome that skepticism by, you know, praying. <laughs> praying. And I ask God, I ask you for God, if this is for me, let me know it's for me, right? Yeah. If it's for me, let me know. And um, also my mother, talking to my mother and, you know, talking to my husband and just doing proper research, right? And that is what kind of convinced me to, you know, just, just go ahead and, you know, just start this business, this business, start this business, yeah. Yeah, I, I think... It's, it's, not easy, it's not easy to overcome that fear because, you know, all of us are fearful, you know, a lot of people get in scam in the online space and it's like, oh, you, yeah. you know, if, it's, you know, if this is the right one. But, you know, just overcome that fear, do more research, ask a question, so I don't take me trouble um, inbox, you know, just ask a question, because sometimes just one question you might have, you know, and once you get that answer, you will just push through, right? So you get more information and, you know, take that step, take that next step. Yeah, you know, uh, when I found this, I, I was a bit skeptical, skeptical as well. And what I, same thing I, you said, I needed just one response from that person. So I literally, I signed up and everything on my own. Um, no harm, no, no foul. But I sent them a message saying, hey, I signed up, right? Of course, well, why would I tell them that, right? But right. I did. And just the fact that they responded to me in my mind was like, oh, okay, cool. And I know it wasn't a uh, typed response because at the end of the day, it, it was different, right? You could yeah. feel the energy of someone. And I was like, okay, good. That That's all I needed. I just needed to know that this was a real person. They responded. That was it, right? And in terms of um, having a lot of crap out there on the business, uh, not on the business, in this uh, online space, right? Just recently, I've been getting a lot of people messaging, messaging me in my inbox who are scammers talking about how uh, your page is going to get shut down because you're violating things and whatnot, right? And, you know, it's so funny how much I have grown from five years ago to now, because now automatically I would just say, yeah, I see you. It, I don't want any part of you, whatever. Right. But before I would have been like, oh, my God, like, could could this be? Could Am I in the wrong? So this business has built so much self-confidence in within myself where I could know, hey, same thing you said. I'm running a legit business. I may have a bad day. I may even have a bad month because that's how business goes. But at right. the end of the day, nothing in this is illegal. I get, I have my tax slip right here. Uh, I plan to file taxes just yet. <laughs> yeah. I plan to file taxes uh, next week. So nothing anyone, anyone out there can change my view on this business. Because at the end of the day, the way I feel, the way the person I've become has everything. So JL, if it's one thing you can say that you have massively benefited from this business, aside from money, because yes, we all want money, but what could be one, what is one thing that you benefited outside of money? Because life is not only about money. I would say personal development. I am a very shy person. I'm an introvert. You sure? for me to be in... <laughs> <laughs> For me to, you know, actually, you know, go live and do all these things, like, you know, actually, you know, um, run a business, you know, help my mentees, you know, help my new business owners and really get in, get my foot wet and actually, you know, run this online business. It, it was a challenge, right? And that's what this business do, does. You know, I have a lot of new business owners who, you know, saying that, you know, they're introvert. How I, do I have to show my face? Do I have to? But I tell them, if I didn't show my face, would you have to have a business? No, you wouldn't even trust that, you know, there's a real person behind there, right? Yeah. So it's like, I had to get my foot wet. I had to say, you know what? This business has to work and this business will work. And I had to push myself out of that comfort zone. And that was the hardest thing for me because I'm telling you, I'm super, super shy. <laughs> but, you know, this business has given me the, the confidence. And I tell my new business owners, um, you wouldn't get confidence at the beginning. You have to go through that training. You have to take a lot of information. Look at those masterminds, you know, and your confidence comes after. But once you are confident in this business, nice. once you get that confidence going, there's nothing stopping you. Nobody, nobody, I always said nobody kind of come and tell me 
what are you doing? Why are you doing this business? You know, nobody can come and tell me anything like that. Nothing can stop me from this business because I know one, it's legit. One, it's profitable because, you know, <laughs> the financial aspect. And one, it is going to help me accomplish my goals. And that's, that's, that's three most important things for me. Yeah. You know, I would love to see your first go live because if you see mine, oh. you will just laugh. <laughs> it was I awful. Was <laughs> it was awful. I was shaking and I told my coach, come on, do this go live with me. I was shaking and all I was doing is just asking her questions. I was like, I say not that. So just ask me questions. That's it. I don't know. I didn't even tell people I was going to go live. And I just, you know, but you know, once you keep on, once you keep, keep at it, it just, it becomes easier for you. I, I went big the first time I did mine. I took a 20-day go-live challenge because I was just like, you know what? This fair has to go now. As in, <laughs> I just did it. And after the 20 days, I was like, and even sometimes I still feel a, a bit nervous. But I remind myself at the end, like, hey, that that's all, right? I'm good. I have this. It's all good. So I, I love that as well, right? I said, I, I always tell people, you don't have to go live, right? You don't have to go live in a movie because I know you will think that, you know, I'm, I don't want to go live. I don't want to show my face like that. You don't have to go live. But what does business do? It pushes you. I don't even know when I started going live, like, you know, like, like you feel something inside of you that you have to go live. I have to go live. I have to tell people about this business because I'm experiencing all these benefits. I need people to experience these benefits too. I have to go live, you know? So you wouldn't feel like that at first, but, you know, going through this business, you get in that confidence, that self-confidence. And, you know, you would say to yourself, I have to do this. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, um, just coming to the end to wrap this up, I have a lot of people asking questions and looking at the workshop and everything like that. What would be your advice, especially if somebody is skeptical? What would be your advice to them? Get those skepticism away. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't get it away. I wish I had get my skepticism away faster. <laughs> because, you know, but you know, it's it's okay to be skeptical. It's a natural response, you know, human interaction that you know. It's something new, something different, you know. And it's like you're not accustomed to this, especially if you're in a career like Kamitra, you know, she's an engineering, um, um, a registered nurse, and you're accustomed to your career. And it's like, I don't know if I can do this, um, be online like this, you know. I don't know if I can run an online business, right? But um, get those skepticism away because um or let that skepticism move you to action don't sit down there and just stay skeptical and like, i don't know if it's me and you're watching years and years and years go by you're seeing kamitra totally mm -hmm. different now from when she started <laughs> me as well you know and it's seeing that and then you come into the business five years later should have could have would have check out this in this this business see if it's for you you will know it's for you i tell people when you watch that webinar you will know hey i can do this let me see yeah. what's the next step. You will know it's for you, right? But you have to be ready. But, you know, don't just sit and let that skepticism just stay there. You know, let that skepticism move you to action. Take action. And, you know, you have that 30. And I love that 30 day money back guarantee, right? And oh, I find, yeah. I find, I, I didn't even, um, <clears throat> when I watched the webinar, I saw the 30 day money back guarantee. But when I um, took action, I booked my coaching call because, it's like, come on. <laughs> I booked my coach and call right away. I was like, no, I need to I need to see what's going on here. Right. So um let that skepticism move you to action. So you know, take that step. You know, think about think about where you are right now and what goals you want to accomplish. And if nine to five or twelve hour shifts is gonna um help you accomplish that goal, okay, that's fine. But you know, um if you need something else, something different, something you know just check this business out and you know just check it out just let's take that next step <laughs> don't think about do it scared, do it scared. Yeah, exactly yeah all of us, we, we, we were we were not just excited to just go through this business all of us have some amount of you know a fear whether it be you know a huge amount or what a little amount all of us were fearful so you know you you start this business off you know with a learning mindset you know and just do it do it with fear yeah. yeah yeah at the end of the day what you'll learn as well is if your desire for change is bigger than that fair then to keep driving you forward that's all right, right? yeah all right okay so jail thank you very much for
come in here. It's been an honor to have a fellow trainee here on my page. Right? <laughs> um, I just want to quickly tell everyone that if you want to watch the workshop, all you have to do is head over to my web uh, website, commitrarampasar.com. Uh, JL, what's yours? I'm jlhdigital.com. Right, and just check it out, watch our free workshop. It's free, you have nothing to lose, right? And everything to gain. So okay. we do go live every Tuesday and Thursday. Check it out and I will see you guys for my next digital journey. Thank you and bye. bye. Thank you for having me. You're most welcome. <laughs>